just got to the yard and I'm quite excited for this arena hire because this will really, oh, there she is. This arena hire will challenge her because it's something a bit different. Oh, she's doing a wee. Um, so basically, I've booked it for 45 minutes and then Jenny's booked it for 45 minutes afterwards, which basically means we're going in there at separate times because Molly, she still has a bit of a napping issue. It's not as serious as it used to be. Like, there's not much rearing or anything else involved. Good morning. But it's just more like little things where she won't go forward away from Harvey kind of thing. It is just a bit annoying. Um, so yeah we've we've got that and then molly will be molly's gonna go first and then she will after 45 minutes she will be tied up at the box so hopefully it goes well and we achieve something but it'll be interesting to see how she will behave come on it'll be interesting to see how she'll behave with harvey tied up on the horse box without her come on <laughs> Anyways, I will go now and I'll just put her head collar on. Well, let's see if she neighs at me. She neighs at me every morning now. What? Oh, whatever. I think she's in season as well. Um, like sniffing and neighing at me. That's also a season flag with Molly. But anyways, I will bring her in now and I'll see you guys in a minute. a head collar. You've got a pony who wants to come in. Alright, actually, let me put your head collar. her feed now so it's like in her stomach before we travel and stuff so like many that people here today we've got the farrier like some liveries have got the farrier so it's really busy it's I just love dinner time so much. <laughs> What's it? You're so pretty.
Give her an option. The man, hit now. God, we did a, an arena high the other week. She jumped everything. But then I suppose you got the 61st. If she's bad in that, then at least you know you don't need to do the 70. You can come out of it. Exactly. It's not like you're just going in to do the 70 and that's it. Like that little one. Leg back and underneath you. Stay tall and look down. Do not look down. Leg back and underneath. Leg as far as you can. Sit up and leg. Sit up and leg. Get your leg back and underneath you. Not small. Leg back and underneath you. Leg back and underneath you. Just took you over it then. Left behind there. <laughs> Shoot over it, we don't care. <laughs>
Bye. What do you want in the camera? Get the camera. Okay. Bye, Tip. Good girl. Good girl. I'm at McDonald's now, and then I'll give you like. Debrief. Just made her feed. Second feed of the day, you lucky gal. Yeah. There you go. Go back. There we go. I'm gonna be hungry now. How oh, moles? What you like? Sad times. We sad. I'm definitely sad. I'm sad. She's gonna check for any food. Someone feeds their horse in this corner. So she always checks for scran and then it spooks herself. Honestly. Go and get a drink. Go and get a drink. Yes. You need to tell everyone what's happening with your saddle. Okay, now I'm going to muck out her bed and give it a big deep clean, um, put new bedding down and get all the wee from underneath up so i'll film that now but yeah it is a bit annoying because i did have the champs this weekend but she's telling me no she refused a cross pole for goodness sake she's not happy um so um we kind of tested and tried the saddle today and we jumped her around and she kept refusing and then it was also my riding but it's also her not being comfortable and then we, we we jumped it round and then I got off and we put the saddle further back where it's meant to be and then I jumped around again and you can just see it's going too far forward. So yeah, it's gonna be a case of the nearest saddle fitter I can get out is on the 17th of September and it's like the 27th of August, which means I only can hack and lightly school and mainly lunge at the minute. But if it means she has to have some time off, it is what it is. Because at the end of the day, Molly's health comes first. Um, you know, she's only seven. She has grown, even though I did get the saddle fitter out. It just means not all saddle fitters are going to be reliable. So make sure you um, check as well. Till I get up, time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't want to waste what's left Right, bed is all swept, still got loads of hay from the horse box Now I just need to clean this out because she's been having a party in it and I've got to empty my barrow. I'm so hot. 
so molly's living out anyway so oh, so it doesn't have to be perfectly full um oh, this is going so wrong there you go like that will be enough because she just dips her feet in it but like she only comes in here to get ridden or have a like a couple hours rest so it doesn't have to be perfect So, not the news I wanted to hear today, but at the end of the day, I'd rather, sorry, I'm so shaky at the minute, <laughs> um, I would rather me not ride and, you know, let Molly be more, com like, comfortable than ruin her jumping. Like, it got left on a good note. She confidently went over a jump. And it's not like she's in, like, pain pain, if that makes sense. You can just feel as you run your hand down um, her shoulder, you can just feel it's quite tight so obviously it's not comfortable which is why she's refusing so i can still walk and trot kind of thing on hacks i'm gonna try and stay out of the school at this moment um and i'm just gonna keep her fit by lunging her and um go like going in the school on the ground so like walking her over raised poles and stuff like that because i'd rather me not ride her and give up whatever enable for her to be comfortable because at the end of the day she's my baby i don't care like if i can't ride her and obviously i can still ride her because you don't just want to not ride them like because it's not like it's mainly jumping that pushes the saddle forward so i can still walk and trot and stuff like that but cantering i want to be a bit careful with and stuff like that so it's not the news i wanted to hear today i possibly might need a new saddle we're not too sure yet so it's just kind of like just have to it's horses for you like i've i've been quite lucky and i haven't had to deal with these things before like and i've had molly like over two years now so it's kind of like my time <laughs> i see so many people like dealing with like saddles not fitting and now that she's seven my instructor was like saying around seven is where like their peak of like they've stopped growing and they're kind of like done and stuff like that because although even when they turn four they've still they're still growing in some way if that makes sense so um although i did get the saddle fitter out it is what it is um she never saw me jump so that might have been the issue um but it's mainly jumping that the saddle's going forward so once we've got the saddle all chill and i'm hoping on my birthday i can hire like an arena hire and be able to jump for like the first time back but i will just keep you guys in the loop so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed the video um obviously not the news i wanted to hear but at the end of the day horses are horses so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it i've already said that um and i'll see you in the next one bye